beautiful people, Paisley Rose, back again with another tutorial for you guys. So today I'm bringing you this blue eye magic. So if you want to find out how I did my face, just keep on watching and I'll show you. So I already got my base done, my eyebrows did, my concealer on, my contour done. I'm gonna go do this eye off camera and then I'll be right back to show you this one. Alrighty, so I am back with this eye all done. She cute, right? I'm gonna bring you in to tell you what is going on. I'll let's back up a little bit. There we go. Alright, so as you can see, it's a blue eye, which I know I do, but there's some brown caramel, you know, some some good stuff going on in there. So we're just going to go ahead and do that in the other eye. Start off with our Bobbi Brown caramel, and we're going to place that right on into the crease. Right now, I'm just patting it because the caramel is very pigmented. So I have to place the color first, and then I'm gonna start to blend. Using another fluffy brush, and then going in with Bookworms from our Beauty and the Beast palette, which is this color right here. We're just going to place that right on the outer corner and in the crease. But we're going to keep this tighter into the crease and not as blown out as the Carmel. And once again, just placing the pro product because my Beauty and the Beast palette is also very pigmented. Then I'm gonna use Carmel again, and I'm going to blend that on out. Then I'm gonna show you guys a trick, because you see how this corner isn't very blended. I'm going to take a fluffy brush with no color on it, and maybe even a little bit of translucent powder. And I'm gonna go right over the edges and shape it the way I want it to be. See how much that helped. Going in with a very dense brush and a little bit of black from my Beauty and the Beast palette, which is called Wolves. And just placing that right on the inner corner and barely dragging that through the crease. This will just help create some depth. But we don't want too much black because we really don't want black. <laughs> we want it to be more brown. So we're going to go back in with Bookworm and we're going to really try to blend that out. Trying to keep Bookworm not too far up and we're going to place it right over Wolves. Then going in with Carmel and blending out that brown and trying to bring a little bit more warmth to it because Bookworm and Wolves are, are definitely more cool toned and I need a little bit of warmth in my eye to actually like it. Then once again taking a fluffy brush with a little bit of translucent powder on it and making sure it's all blended out. Alright, now that we are here, we are going to go ahead and cut our crease and we are going to use our NARS concealer in the color Light Chantelle, I think. I don't know. And I'm using this color because it is way lighter than my skin tone and it will really help that blue pop. Taking a small brush and starting to cut the crease. All right, once we are here, we are going to take our H&M blue eyeshadow in the color Peacock. And we're going to take this brush right here with a flat top and we're going to just 
get a load of the blue, which it's really, really pigmented, so you don't need much. And we are going just to pat it on. This will also help prevent too much fallout. Making sure it is all even as well. You don't want any patchy areas. Once you get to this point, as you can see, the very edge is not as pigmented as the rest of the lid. So we're going just to take a flat brush and we're going to take some more of that blue. We're going to drag it across the line where the pigment isn't as bright. Now we're going to blend the brown and the blue together. Taking that compact brush and dipping into bookworm and blending that into the blue. And then getting a more fluffy brush, taking some more of bookworm and going in and blending one more time. We're also going to blend in some blue. We're gonna pop in some more wonderfulness and we're going to take some of this wet and wild loose eyeshadow and we're going to place a little bit of that onto our table or whatever you got make sure it's something that you can wipe off and it's not going to stain <laughs> taking a little bit of our setting powder spraying that right on top and then if you just mix that in it creates gold liner. Whoa, that's so amazing! Oh, Paisley, you're a genius! I know, I know, guys. I know. And then we're going to just align the crease. Make sure to follow it as well as you can. This part is a little tricky. And go as slow as you need to go. Yes, fill and fierce, right? Now we're gonna move on to the bottom lash line real quick. Taking Carmel, swiping that on our lower lash line. And you wanna run that all the way across. And you wanna swipe that right in to the upper lash line, or the upper lid. And then taking Bookworm, and placing that even closer to the lash line and doing the same thing as Carmel. And then lastly, taking Wolves and we are going to bring this mostly across the bottom lash line. We're gonna probably stop right about there. And then blending that out, of course. And if necessary, reshape just like that. And then we are going to take H&N's Chin Chin and we are going to use a small brush and we are going to place that right onto the inner corner, just like that. And then our mini fan brush and do our brow bone. Now that we're looking fire as foot, we're just going to brush away any fallout that we have. Then we are going to go in with some liner. We are going to use our Sephora liner, liquid liner that is. And we are going to just do a small wing. Small wings are so hard for me to do, by the way. I guess my body just knows how dramatic I really am and wants to show it on the outside. <laughs> all right, now that we're all right y'all, we are going to real quick go in with a pencil, a black pencil liner, and we're going just to do our waterline. <laughs> Ooh, oh, eyes got watery. <laughs> Alrighty, 
Then we are going to go in and curl our lashes to the heavens. Do some mascara. Our lower lash line. Or not lower lash line, but lower lashes. And then we are going to go in with some lashes. Waiting for a lash glue dry. And then going to apply them. And there we go. We is done with the eyes. So now backing y'all up to finish the face. The wrong way. God damn. I can never get this camera right. Alrighty. So, we are going to go in with, I don't even know if there's a point of me doing this part of my face anymore because I do the same routine. Our Fenty Beauty Highlighter. Our fan brush. <laughs> Ciao. Mini fan brush, keep its bow. Max brush, nose. And now that we <coughs> glow, we are gonna clean up a little bit because I need more space up here. I'm going to use my face palette and I'm going in with this color right here and I'm going to place that right on the apples of my cheeks and swoop it over to the bridge of my nose. Alrighty. Finished up with that. I'm in with my Kat Von D tattoo liner in Bringing out my natural beauty marks. I think I want to warm up my makeup. So I'm gonna go in with my Kat Von D's liquid lipstick in Lalita. I don't know how much I recorded. Something happened with my camera and it, it's freaking me out, but I'll figure that out. Just setting my, my face with my Seal It Deal setting spray. And that is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you beautiful people later. Bye.